Hey guys, welcome to Boner Plant Roundtable where Kevin and I are talking today a little bit about my bear hunt coming up. Um, it's pretty exciting in Michigan and it took me about eight years to pull this tag, so pretty, pretty long time. Yeah, yeah, you gotta build up a lot of points if you wanna get the first hunt. There's several hunts. Um, always best to get the first hunt because once the second hunt starts they are allowed to use dogs and once the dogs come into play the bear can you could have a bear coming in for a while and he's just going to skedaddle if the dogs scare him out of there yeah i was trying to think back uh when we went last time for your hunt because you pulled the tag many moons ago was that like 2014 or 15. that's a while ago so you must be have a couple points built up by now yeah, maybe next year we can go again. Yeah, because you, uh, so you had the second week and the dogs then started running the first day. <laughs> yeah. We and they pushed the bear out. Yeah, we had a bear come in, uh, coming in every day. And so we learned a lesson there. I yeah. think, uh, you know, we've had a bear in Canada, we've had a bear in Michigan, and it seems like to me the bear in Michigan are much more skittish. Uh, yeah. I've had bear come in, and boy, if they think something's wrong, they're gone. Where it seemed like when I hunt bear in Canada, maybe because there's less people around, yep. or whatever, they're just so much more relaxed. And and if they leave, another one comes in. Yeah, there's yeah, so many more. It seems like I. So this uh, put me in a predicament, right? So I, you know, my goal is to hunt this bear with a bow. Obviously, you know, bow or plant makes sense. But eight years to get a tag, I'm. And the, the issue I'm having right now mentally is that, you know, the, our guide who is, is baiting, doing the baiting for us and all that is saying that archery would probably be very hard to get this done. Um, and if you really want a bear, you should really consider using a gun. So... It's been a long time I just, since we had bear brats. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, I'm a hunter first, you know, like bow, gun, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I just bought a brand new 350 Legend. And I would really like to use it, to be honest. So I'm thinking in my head, like, well, if I have to use a gun, I'm not going to use a crossbow this time around. I'm going to use the gun. You know, it's my thought at least. And if I'm going to do, if I'm going to do a crossbow, I'm just going to do a gun since it's legal. Yeah. My thought process is, might as well take full advantage of the gun. Even though I, to be honest, I don't. I've only maybe killed two deer with a gun in my lifetime. So like, I'm not a big gun person. But like, I feel like in this scenario, eight years, you know, first hunt. What we're hearing basically is they come in and they're, they're, they're so sketchy that they might not even give you time to shoot. With a gun, you're probably gonna get a shot, but with a bow, it sounds like they come in, if they, anything seems off, they're already gone. That's how sketchy they are, so. Well, that happened to me last time I hunted a Michigan bear. I mean, literally, the bear came in, was there for about three seconds. Um, I don't think he winded me because the wind was the other way, but he just had a feeling that something was wrong and boy, he bolted out of there and I was like, okay, he'll come back, he'll come back. I had five days, he never came back, wow. you know, once they're gone. So, you know, so I didn't take a bear. And the thing is, is you've taken a bear with a bow before. Correct. It's yeah. not like you haven't done it, so. Well, I know, I can't, so it's a thing, if I go back to Canada, I know I can get it done with a bow, right. no problem. Here, I'm just worried that all this time eight years or nine years of waiting for a tag and then you get it it's like the elk here right mm -hmm. it's like once in a lifetime tag right. so like in that case it'd be hard not to use like a 30 out six or something you know what i mean like sure for an elk when you know you're not gonna get a second chance you know but in, Co in colorado you can go every year so it's not right. a huge deal if you miss or don't get a chance but i would just hate to to not get one if i have a tag is my and point. it's been quite a while since we had any bear meat in the freezer oh, it's been the too long us, you know so bring, so either way we that, still got a lot of good gear to use just yeah with that in mind <laughs> one of the things that is important is scent control yeah and so we're really looking forward to trying out some of this dead downwind and tanks yeah and tank stuff uh the dead downwind to eliminate the this the odors. I even like we got this uh, uh, D zone to go. Yeah. Uh, you plug it into your car in your vehicle, and it eliminates odors out of your vehicle. You know, so that's really kind of cool. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah, and so with this uh, D zone 
bag with it, uh, the, the D zone in it, the UV and ozone eliminator, this is huge, you know. So you're gonna put your clothes in there and then the whole way there, they're gonna be scent protected right. and being pulled out any nasty scents that might get in. And then we look into a cover scent like yeah. Kevin's and got we, here. And we have to be extra careful because we're gonna have you hunting and I'm gonna be there filming. So, yeah, this is gonna know, be a lot of a lot of going on. There's a here. chance and a you new know, ground blind being put in. Yeah, the so. chance of, of some scent being given off without using these products would yeah. be pretty high. Um, the tinks, what I like, they have several cover scents. They got pine, they got acorn, cedar, earth scent, and yeah. and they have more. But yeah. between all these scents, we can look at where we're hunting. If we're hunting in the cedars. You could use the cedar scent if you're hunting in the pines. You want to use something that's not gonna uh, suddenly Make arouse their curiosity. What's you know? that? Um, acorn scent. Yeah. Uh, you know, if there's a if there's trees in the area that are dropping acorns, that would be a good scent to use. Um, earth scent is always good because you're looking at you know, if if nothing else, you know, it's just like ground. Yeah. So yeah, that's for good. sure. Yeah, I think, I think you, you know, you combine, that's the thing about scent control, right? In deer hunting, in turkey, we don't take it seriously at all. In deer hunting, we take it seriously, but some take it more seriously. Like like Ron, he takes it super seriously. I just spray down with Dead Down Wind, to be honest, and go out. I do use a Dead Down Wind bag. I don't use this one with the thing in it, but I use just the bag. And I spray my clothes before I go out, I do the most. But in this case, since this is such a sketchy type animal, it, worse than a deer in this case, since they're more rare, um, I think we're gonna try to use everything, every every weapon at our disposal here to get this done. Whether it's, you know, we're gonna have our normal dead down wind stuff, our deodorant, shampoo, the spray down, it's all gonna happen regardless toothpaste. of all this stuff, the toothpaste. So Kevin and I will get prepared you know, we gotta figure out if we're doing a morning hunter night hunt based on the information that the baiter gives us, but at that point, we have to then use some of the stuff on the way there, but then, you know, when we get there, we have to make decisions. They also have these really cool, um, I don't know if this is like an attractant, I think, uh, yeah. smoking sticks for bear. It says honey bacon. So I am kind of interested in this. I obviously got to look up if it's allowed in Michigan. I don't know the answer to that right now, but um, it's pretty cool. It also provides, it's a lure, but also provides cover, it says on here. So because they're smelling this, it's more potent because it's burning that, you know, they're going to smell yeah, this over put, anything. Uh, depending on the wind direction, you want to put that between you and the and the bait. So. Yeah, makes sense. And I, I know bears eat a lot of crazy stuff too, so I can see that being... Oh, bacon? Yeah. Every, who doesn't love bacon? I was going to say. <laughs> But the, here's the thing. So our friends at Fourth Arrow sent us some really cool camera arms to use, and I, you know, I plan we're gonna most likely use this Rex the most because this will be on the ground with uh, Kevin, and again he'll be able to rotate all the way around. And uh, I'm adding a head to it that I bought, so there's a separate head coming. But this is gonna make for an easy filming situation for him. I'm gonna have a light camera on there, a small quiet camera. I'm not looking for like the highest quality video ever made. I'm trying to do this to where it's gonna work and we don't have to make a ton of noise. You gotta remember, even with a gun in the blind, you're gonna have a tripod to hold the gun. We have a bog tr uh, tripod that's gonna hold the gun in place and then uh, that way I can go hands free until the animal comes out. And then when I go to fire, it's gonna be dead steady. Um, you know, I even thought about maybe taking the bow as well and see what happens. You know, if he's sitting there eating a lot and I can do the bow, maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't decided mentally yeah. yet which direction I want to go, but I have no issue shooting from a ground line with a, with a, a compound. I can do the shot um, and I'm ready. I've been shooting it a ton, so I'm not, not ready. I just want to make sure it's not, if it's looking sketchy, I don't want to miss my one opportunity, you know. Right. But that being said, so my goal, I was gonna get in a tree stand, so to be clear, I had gotten a tree stand from Novix, we had uh, steps ready to go, but after talking with Corey, it just doesn't seem like it's probably the best idea to do it the day before, and it's like a rush job, right? And the noise, making noise out there just seems real risky. So I think what we decide is to go in quiet, go stealth mode, open the blind up super quietly, uh, before we go out and spray it down once and then let it dry out, let it sit out by the cabin, you know? take it down, take it back out there, put it up slowly and quietly, put our gear in quietly. And then things like this, um, this awesome stick here from 4th Arrow. I, I'm gonna most likely use this, but I'm gonna use it closer to home 
than I was. So originally I wanted to put this down by the bait, but I'm a little bit nervous to be honest now yeah. to put anything down there because I don't want it looking at it, smelling it. And the reason I say that is when we were in Canada, I watched, I had five GoPros in a circle around the bait and I had, I watched the bear stop, look at the camera, go up to it and lick it and then smell it and then walk over it followed my footprints from where i walked in it followed right to my tree yeah so i don't want to be in a situation like that to be completely honest i'm a little nervous sitting on the ground but since i'm with you i feel a little safer as two of us and i'm going to carry a sidearm for protection and so are you so i feel like that's that makes we'll me feel fine. a little better we'll you know be but yeah i'm excited i think it's gonna be a great trip we're gonna Get situated, get up there. The, the We're less than two weeks away. Two weeks away, and I, you know, I actually have a lot going on that week because that is the opening youth weekend here yeah. in, in Michigan, unfortunately. So my goal is to get this done fast. Wednesday is my opener, so I plan to, whatever we're told, whether it's morning or night, I plan to get out there as stealth and quietly as I can and just, you know, go to town. I might not even set up this second angle, to be honest. I don't know yet. I don't know how I well, feel yet. That's, that's another reason I know you're leaning toward using the gun because you want to get it done so you can yeah. get home to hunt there's a lot more at stake you can Kids get home in to the hunt field right son. now there's a lot more at stake for me i just got to get this done so yeah. i feel like uh the best way to do it is going to be using the racks from the ground blind at 40 50 yards back away from that bay pile i think he said we get 45 yards back give us some room give the bear some room so it's not seeing us or you know as we can make a little movement it's not going to be all over us um and then maybe we can play with things like this. I don't know the answer, but we'll have to look yeah, into we'll it. Ask, we'll to ask, ask Corey, Corey and we'll have to that. look at the state rules and see what that is. But this is cool for anybody who's looking for this type of thing. They actually show a brown bear on here, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's a little scary. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we're hunting black bear, by the way, if you're wondering. This, so this is, uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't sit in a ground blind for a grizzly, but that's me. <laughs> So, what's your uh, schedule, Kevin, for your uh, bear hunt? Are you going to go to Canada next year? What's your thoughts? I'd love to. I mean, uh, hopefully this COVID, yeah. COVID craziness gets over with. Canada opens right up. The fact that there has not been a lot of hunters up there <laughs> means there well, should be some really good bear population. I think it's already proven. Mike Avery went up and killed one the first day. Yeah, so... And he doesn't shoot small bears, so... <laughs> no, no. But he did want... And he saw three or four in that Yeah, sick, yeah, but saying. he did say that, you know, it's it's not the biggest one he's ever killed, but it's been a long time since he had any bear brats, too. So, yeah, 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 there you go. You know, you, you get to that point, you know. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. I, I just, I love the Canada hunt. I feel like it's definitely yeah. a fun hunt. It's a little scarier. You're not allowed to carry a sidearm as being an American, so a little more sketchy, and there's a lot more bears, so and it you, makes it feel a little more sketchy. And you're way out there. And you're way out. You're yeah. talking... I think it took us 30 40. miles, 40 miles from the camp and yeah. through the woods. This is through like a logging trail. And then once we get in there, we are about 2.5 to 5 miles apart in groups. So yeah, that's what it was. So there's a group of three people and they're 2.5 miles apart from each other, but the groups were about 10 miles apart, 20 miles apart. Yeah. So there's like hunting and twos and three. So pretty cool though. I, I mean, the, the concept was great. It was definitely nerve wracking if you're not used to being in the Northern woods like that by yourself. Yeah, there's no texting, no self, there's nothing. No there's service, no communication. There's no nothing. You're, that's what's scariest about it. You're out there and you gotta wait till somebody comes. Are you allowed to carry a shotgun too? You could, yeah. You See, because I think I would do, I think they have a shotgun, I forgot the name of it, it's real small. Like it's, I don't know what the rules are on length, you'd have to look it up and figure all that out, but if I went back, I would definitely carry a shotgun for protection because they have small ones like this big, you know, you can buy them, they're legal and everyone well, here, right? You have to look yeah. at the rules again. But I would definitely carry that on my pack next time if I, I needed a weapon. Cause that, I had some shady stuff happen to me when I was there with bears and I, honestly, it was scary. Nothing happened, I, I'm here, right? So, I mean, the odds are they're not gonna mess with you, so. But when they come to the bottom of your stand and look up at you. It, it was scary, it's, it's, not gonna lie. Little, yeah. And this, having a can of mace that, I was, I don't know if you guys listened to the podcast, we had a guy on the other day that said, mace is not a great thing to use because there's something in it that actually ends up attracting bears. He said, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he said it's only good for a couple seconds and then once the bear runs off, it might come back. That's the issue. And you know, you have to get the heck out of the, out of the area, especially, he's talking brown bear. Yeah. I, so, you know, black bear may be not an issue, but here's the thing. When you look up and you see a black bear standing at the top of the bay pile, looking in your direction, going, <sighs> and just dripping and like just staring and you couldn't even hear it number one you only see it because they're so quiet that's the other thing it's creepy we're gonna be sitting in this blind it's gonna poke its head right in probably and i'm gonna go 
<laughs> You're gonna be fine. We're gonna get it done. So, but Bob's going too with us. So it'll be a fun time. I, I would tell him to go with us out there, but it ain't gonna happen because this sounds like it's real sketch mode. But he can pick us up, drop us off. Yeah. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, guys, a lot of great products here. I mean, this year has been a really cool year for products. We've been gotten some. We've gotten some really cool stuff. Under Armour sent me some sweet boots. I'm gonna try out out there. Uh, they sent me an outfit as well, but it's too warm for that. So, but I'll be wearing my element anyway. So, which I would for a hunt. Um, but the, I gotta find the lightest thing I got. But then again, you think it might be cool up there? It cools off up there. Yeah, you see, never I gotta, know. Up there, we yeah, could I might be, have to bring two. It could be anywhere from ninety to thirty-five degrees. Wow. You don't know. So yeah, we're gonna have to. And this is and a Michigan's happen, upper peninsula. That can happen all in one day. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Didn't think of that. Cold front could just yeah. slide right in there. So yeah. So you gotta be when we go when I go up to the UP in the fall. You gotta be prepared for anything. Yeah. I hear you. So, but thanks for joining us on the round table, guys. Comment below on your thoughts on black bear hunting. Uh, are you scared to go in the woods with them by yourself? Do you not care? Is that something you worry about? How do you protect yourself in the woods with a black bear? Do you carry a sidearm when you're in the States? Do you use mace? What's your thoughts on that? And uh, also, what would you do? I mean, would you use a product like this? Would you try this or not? I'd be curious on your thoughts on this, the smoking sticks. Also, the uh, D zone stuff, would you believe in that or not? Uh, just curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. This is the whole point of roundtables, have some conversation, go back and forth, and then we can come back and talk about your responses in a different episode. See your thoughts. Also, what's your thoughts on getting close to the bear with things like a camera arm and stuff down by the bait? Now, we'll say in Canada, we got some amazing footage having GoPros down in there, you know, yeah, with the did remote. Do that. Yeah. And uh, the bear. From what I remember looking through that footage, only the only bear to ever really kind of jump on it was mine, and it went right to my camera, licked it, smelled it. But the other the cameras never got touched, I think, by a bear. Um, yeah. But some pretty cool scenes came from that, and that's all with the GoPro remote. And those things can do up to like 70 at once plus. So, I mean, if you had the money, you can really scatter them throughout a whole wood. You can put those things all the way down a wood so that <laughs> the, you can see the deer coming down the trail before it even gets a mile from you, probably. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time at bonerplant.com. Check out our podcast. You're not going to want to miss that. It's a lot of fun. And also, don't forget Test Lab, where you can learn about all the great products. We'll see you next time. Yeah, wish us luck. <laughs>